Hello everyone, this is Tonton here and this week this is the Tonton talk show number two and before we begin I have an uh, announcement to make due to the problem of the coronavirus, the COVID-19 disease my reviews will be inconsistency because of that I cannot get the product so I will try to get them as soon as possible but at this moment I cannot make any promises and now let's begin with this week talk show. Okay, so first we have the trailer of the Transformer War for Cybertron Siege on Netflix. And it is a quite exciting trailer, so I'm gonna do another breakdown video for that trailer later. But now coming with the trailer, we also have some image of the previous model that have the uh, already exist, but then they change the color a little bit and then give it the net net Netflix tag or something. So I want to look at first is Megatron. As you can see here, this is the same Siege Megatron, but this time with more scratch to represent his look on the show. That is pretty nice. The color, everything is he's still the same. Not too many difference here. But then we also have the two little guys here. They are Pinpointer and Lionizer. Lionizer is uh, basically the sword. We already have this from uh, I don't remember the name of the figure. And Pinpointer, I don't remember having him, but I think that he's already exists. So now my question is, will Pinpointer and Lionizer will come with the Voyager Megatron? I would that we have to see. But then I hopefully that they does, because if they do, that will be a really nice add up to Megatron, or if you, you know, like you can buy them with other figures. And one more thing that I think about why they should include Pinpointer and Lionizer is the epic part. Those gonna be some adapt, good adapt for Megatron. I really hope that they have that with him. Otherwise, it's gonna be a doll of repaint figures, which is what I don't really like. And looking closer to Megatron here, as you can see, the chest, especially the chest, has some really good improvements. Especially with the scratch and the damage. It shows that during the time of the upcoming series, they've been through a long time of war and everything. So this may be like the final days of the war before they move to Earth. That, that is the, when the Earthrise line come up with. So if this might be a three seasons show like with Transformer Prime. I hopefully it does because with, because with all the upcoming figures. And that's it for Megatron. Let's continue. The next one is Hound here. And um, I'm going to say this, he has nothing too much special with this uh, release. Just the same one doesn't come with any new mini cons and anything. And to be honest, like they just changed the color a little bit. And they gave him some burns from the blaster and everything. This is nothing too special. And I'm not, I'm not going to get this for sure. Because it's the same figure. Like with Megatron, we have some other stuff. But then with Hound. Just a doll figure. Uh, if you haven't got Hound, so this is a uh, this is gonna be a good add up because of the color scheme. But like me and other people who already have the figures, the previous version, this is a skip for sure. Okay, so this is a stretch here. This guy is actually called Hot Link, and he's like a seeker or something. But then, yeah, you know, this is Skyrap for sure. But then this is Hot Link. And the only reason that they're gonna get you to buy this figure is due to the two minicons who can transform into two blaster. And you got that shooting effects. Otherwise, I don't see any reason that you should get this figure. This is basically Skyrap and that's it. This is quite a move for Takawa like for, by releasing this Hasbro as well. They give new accessories and change a little bit of paint job here and there with the Siege figures and give it the tag of Net Netflix original. So yeah, I suppose that you can have this because there's a uh, this scene in the show that you see Hot Link with a uh, fire flame thrower. So I guess you can have that if you want to. Uh, this guy, I think I'm gonna get him because of of the two mini cons. I actually pretty like them. So yeah, Hasbro got me this time. So now we come to the Deluxe Chromia. So what is new? The first thing is that we have a metallic blue paint, which is nice. The gun is new, I think. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to check that in my uh, collection because I do have Chromia. And I pretty like the blue, the blue steel color theme. And we have some burn here and there on the shoulder and on the chest, which represents some like battle damage. So give the figures a 
realistic looks. I pretty I really enjoy that. So yeah, despite that I already have has Chromia, I'm still gonna get her because of the paint. I really love the paint here. I'm, I'm gonna buy it for the paint and the battle damage. And also I think the gun is new, so I've, I'm gonna have to check that out before I actually think of getting the hero or not. And now we have Side Swipe. Of course, this is a battle damage, obviously. Still the same figure but with battle damage effects. And now next we have Scrap Face. This again is a obvious recolor of the camera trio. What is the name of him? I don't really remember. A uh, reflector. Reflector, okay, so just a recolor. So if gray and purple wasn't your color, then maybe blue and orange will be. Otherwise, that's it. Quite dull. Of course, he still can transform into a, a camera. Nothing too special about scrap face here. And of course, the last we have, we have Mirage. So this time in a Decepticon color scheme. So we have the purple and gray instead of the blue and white. We also have the uh, the Decepticon logo now instead of the Autobots. And I think the face is a little bit different with the expression. Uh, that's it. That's another recolor. So I'm curious if this Mirage is actually like a double spice. Like be a spice on the Decepticon size and then change to Autobots or the otherwise. The otherwise. I'm really curious, but then we have to wait until then. I think I'm gonna get this figure and post him next to my Mirage because they actually make a mix a nice duo. You mean like the same Transformer, like the twins, but then actually they're on different size. I, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get this figure because of that. I really like the idea of having the same figures, like I said. And that's it for the Net Netflix copies of the figures. For the upcoming Earthrise figure, we have Smokescreen and another V2 of the same figures. Uh, I don't really know what to say about him. I'm not a fan of the characters and I don't really like him. But then I might be getting him for the reviews. I'm not sure yet, but maybe, you know, nothing too special about this guy. So I'm just gonna pass him. He's, he's in the other smoke screen and the engineer is the same as all, all, the, all the other four wheels sport cars we have on the Earthrise line. Nothing too special here. And this is the figures that I really want to talk about and we have the Commander class Skylinks of the Earthrise line. How I love the design like he's a transformer but then he doesn't necessarily have to transform into a robot. Instead with this Skylinks you can have five modes of him. First you can have the space shuttle with a carriage underneath. Then you can have the four legged dragons. Um, and that is the original Skylink's design. Uh, I really love that. Next, you got the shuttle launching base. That is a really cool feature of the uh, the, the transformation. Uh, I really like that. And then you can split Skylink's in half and then have the bird, bird thingy look like. I know it's kind of odd to me because of the how, look how small the leg is. But then check out that cool, that nice lion. That is a really nice add up. It is really nice. Uh, I'm gonna review. I'm gonna try to review Skylink as soon as possible. But I mean, look at the figures. This is the one that we want, not that smoke screen. Smoke screen can go to hell now. And I really hope that I can get my hands on Skylink soon. It would be really nice that I, if I can review him soon. And about the neck, I think that the shadow is hollow on the inside, so you can push the neck in and then pull it out. That is, that really is good. And then again, you have the head, which is a really nice head. You can see some details, the teeth in size. Uh, I really love Skylinks. I think he's really cool. So it would be nice if I can review him soon. And we continue with the big guys. We do have the Titan class Scorponok. Uh, still the same or, uh, OG G1 Scorponok. But then this time you have him in a really big size. And as you can see, there's a picture of him with Earthrise Wheeljack to see how big the base form is. And then so that you can think of how huge the robot mod is. I really like him. I'm gonna get him soon. He have I see him. of course it's a triple changer. You have the scorpion form, the base, the, the CD form, and then you have the robot form. A pretty good uh, thing that you, he's also head has a headmaster. So if you're thinking of having a big Decepticon figures on in your display case, you can get him. I think I'm gonna get him. He looks pretty nice. Uh, not as impressive as Skylinks, but I'm still gonna get him because of the size. Look how big that thing is. I think he will make a great duo with Omega Supreme. Uh, of that I, I really enjoy. And we are done with the 
Earthrise. Now let's move to Cyberverse. At first we have the Deluxe Class RC. So from the looks of it, I'm pretty sure that this is the same end of toys with the Earthrise RC. The same uh, transformation gimmicks. Even the car modes look similar. But then she has a more cartoonish looks. And the only difference is that the car the cable on the back cannot be removed to di be displaced as a base but they're gonna stay there permanently uh I, I'm, I'm not sure i'm gonna get her because i don't really like the cartoonish look of her the short former i don't know man so i will have to see and wait wait and see if I'm, I'm gonna get her because as you all know i do not collect cyberverse they're too cartoonish to me and that's it and continue we have the Cy deluxe class grimlock uh i'm not too sure you still have the same transformation gimmicks with all the grimlocks that is the tail becoming the legs of the robot mode and the leg of the robot becomes the arm and then you fold the head and then you release the robot head i mean this is too cartoonish to me uh i'm not sure how i should react because uh i always think of grimlock at least should be voyager class and at least have some weapon with him but then with this grimlock we do not have any weapons and then again it's a deluxe class so i'm not too sure of getting him and next we have hot rod in the deluxe class what should i say now nah, this is the, definitely a pass I, ha I have no love for this figure look at the figure itself you see a lot of hollow parts and then the face is not really nice the only thing that nice about the figure is the clear flint effect they are good but then again no love no future nothing for the hot rod no this color scheme is too much for me i don't like that bright red but then this one is interesting we have deluxe thunder howl he is transformed into a beast and we can see obviously see like he stand in four feet and then flip the head up and then you have a beast mode the shield tucks in the back but then again i'm this guy is an interesting because i do also build gundams and then i really appreciate the effects that transformer figure have both sword and shields and he also comes with a, a blowing effect so i might getting him as my first cyberverse figures because i do like the accessories and the proportion of him so like no over engineering but just simple transformation and you get good accessories so why not and then we also have the battle call officer class so i think this is like a new line of figures that hasbro introduced to us and with this bumblebee what you're getting is a shield that can obviously split in half and reveals a blade and some other clear blue effect i don't know where they're coming from but i'm curious is that he gonna have both of the features like we also have the sword and then the chest plate armor or not because this one reminds me of robot in disguise guys that they actually have that clear blue armor thingy but i don't know i do i don't watch that show so and we have a helmet which is look is kind of similar to gypsy danger from pacific rim if you look at the, uh, the eyes i'm curious about this line and of course then we must have battle class optimus prime so this time he has a sword and a shield and you know the sword is nice the shield can split like the uh make tech dark of the moon sentinel prime also that curious clear blue chest plate i don't know where they it's coming from but then again it looks quite nice with primes with the sword i really like the sword so mm, maybe i'm getting this figure then we have the trooper class meteor fire this guy also have the clear blue armor but then again i'm curious that if he's gonna have a light inside him and change in or like what the plastic but uh looking for the change in the color i think that this is actually he have led unit in there so yeah i'm gonna see i'm gonna think about this figure if i'm gonna i'm gonna get him then we back to the battle class trooper class star scream so with this star scream what we have here is the claw looks of him and then we have the uh, chest and helmet armor but then again it is in clear green now and with the red on it i don't know man and of course with the tail section you can see in the robot mode it's kind of like he's, he looks like a scorpion I don't know this is really strange to me now to megatron this is interesting because he also have the clear clear weapons everything and this time he has a scythe and the armors is also green clear green but then the helmet represent galvatron more than megatron to be honest curious but not that exciting to wait for uh i've had that i don't have too much hope in this line and then we have another battle called trooper class bumblebee this time he's different 
the expression of the face is different and you got another a new sword and then you got the new chest and shoulder armor with that this is like the vikings type so i don't know that why bumblebee has two has two mode here so yeah the um, as you can see the robot is also different so this is a new figures i'm really curious about that so i think this will be happen in the show that somehow he comes through a upgrade or something and that's it for the news update this week thanks a lot for watching the video and this week i'm gonna put another video clip this is the netflix trailer breakdown so i'm gonna analyze what happens in that trailer and give my predictions of the show so stay tuned and have, uh, and otherwise thanks for watching and i will be seeing you next week in the number three talk show again subscribe to my youtube channel for new updates and and follow me on instagram thanks guys i'm out see you next week